Anita from Global Baby and today I'm going to do a comparison video for you between the Mutsi i2 and the Bugaboo Fox. So this year, 2018, Bugaboo released the Fox and it has kind of replaced the Buffalo. It has replaced the Buffalo. Buffalo's gone, in comes the Fox. The difference between the Fox and the Buffalo, I think we did a video on it another time, is it's lighter. So it's 9.9 kg including the seat, so really lightweight. And by comparison, the Mutsi i2, check my notes, is 13.7 kg. But lots of differences in the ways that the strollers work and perform, and I'll show you all of those now. Let's start at the bottom with the wheels. Now they both have foam-filled wheels, which is kind of like polystyrene in there. It means that it's really lightweight and it won't puncture. You're never going to have to use an air pump, so that's kind of a good thing, I think. The Fox has slightly larger front wheels than the Mutsi, but not much bigger, not much in it. But the Fox is more suited to off-road because of the way that the stroller is balanced over the front and the back wheels. And if we look at the, uh, the wheelbase, that's the distance between the back wheel and the front wheel. I'm going to move it back so you can see it. is a bit smaller, a bit shorter from here to here, and that just means that it's going to be slightly easier to move it in small spaces, so like when you're out shopping or at cafes, kind of, it's going to be more manoeuvrable. For the brake, with the Fox, it's just a tap on and a tap off, and for the i2, they've got it on both wheels, either wheel, and it's tap on and then lift it off, but it's quite a soft brake. I mean, you can do that in sandals and it won't hurt your feet. So moving on to the seat. Now they both have a five point harness and I'll just open this up so you can see it a bit more easily, hopefully. So the Bugaboo one, you just press on there and it kind of pops apart um, and then you put it on one by one and you can't put them in the wrong way. With the Mutsi, you can open that as well. I kind of use the palm, what's that called, palm, the palm in my hand to open that one, and they come apart in three pieces. Easy. So just like I showed that bumper bar is removable, I really like for toddlers, you can put the brake on and then let the toddler, you know, open up that bumper bar and let the toddler climb in themselves and it's giving them a little bit of independence. Okay, so the Mutsi has that five-step ergonomic recline, which we really love. So when they're lying down, they're completely flat. With the Bugaboo Fox, you've got a handle at the back of the seat here. Do you see that one? And then you'll pull it, and it's got three steps, I think. So when they are lying down, this is the recline position, when they're lying down, they're still in a sort of a seated position. To be fair though, most children don't mind that, they still find it totally comfortable to sleep like that. Now both of the seats you can have the child facing you and facing away. With the i2, to turn it around you've got a little step here. that you wouldn't do very often. Step. There we go. And with the fox, it's just a push of these ones and you can turn it around. For the sun shades, they're both extendable sun shades. So here's the I2. And on this i2 sunshade, you've also got the peekaboo window there as well. You'd only use that one when the seat is facing away. Alright, extendable handlebars. They both have 
extendable handlebars, telescopic extend, and they, these are both Dutch brands, right? If you've been to Holland, everyone is tall, so they both extend to be suitable for tall people. One of the interesting things about the fox is that you can customise it totally. So you can choose if you want to have a carry top or not. You can choose the colour of the hood, you can choose the colour of the seat fabric, you can choose the colour of your frame, you can choose the colour of the grip, they call them, and the seat here, and even the wheel caps, which is the inside of the wheel. With the Mutsi i2, you can choose a frame of either black or silver and then there are a few different configurations that you can choose for the seat and the carry cot. The Bugaloo Fox is made from recycled materials, so these are made from plastic bottles, recycled PET, but so is the Igo Pure. The other thing that you can do with the Fox and the Chameleon as well actually is you can fold it into this two wheel position which they say is good for if you're going along with sand. Now personally I've never taken my stroller on the sand because salt water ruins everything but okay if you wanted to do it I'll show you how to do it. So what you would do is pull the trigger here so seats facing you, pull the triggers and bring that wheels in and probably should use that safety as well and then you're going to pull right you can't push like that that won't work but pull them along both of these strollers you can fold with the seat on so the i2 you will flip the seat forward and then pull these two little pieces on the frame up and then it's a squeeze of these ones and then that's completely folded with the seat on and then for storage at home in your garage or whatever it's quite handy to put it like that. Now for the fox we will firstly lock the front wheels and that's just a push on these two white pieces on the wheel so that's locked now. Put in the handlebar and then squeeze these triggers up towards you and then walk the front in. Right. So that is the folded box with the seat on, and that is the folded I2 with the seat on. And then to unfold, where should we go first? There's a little plastic piece here on the I2, you'll squeeze that, We will turn these, mm, can you see there? There's a little white dial in here. You want to turn that. showed you how you lock the front wheels on the Fox and I'll just show you that you can do that on the i2 as well. So locking the front wheels might be handy like sometimes when you go to the park especially up here at Cornwall Park and the, the sheep have been on the grass it's all bumpy if you lock those front wheels it'll stop them kind of moving around into all the, the divots of the grass and make it a bit easier to walk. Okay, now we're going to attach the carry cot. So everyone recommends that the carry cot is used until about six months of age, until the baby can kind of sit up on their own or pull themselves up. That's time to switch to the seat. So you get the option of whether you want to buy the carry cot or not. For the Bugaboo Fox, I've got Bella helping me here. So the Bugaboo Fox, the frame of the seat is the frame of the carry cot. So we're just going to take the fabric off the seat and we're going to put the, the carry cot fabric on so you can see it. 
So, but for the Mutsi I2, this is me on my can get the easy job. It just comes in one box, all ready assembled. If you had the stroller set up in carry top mode and you wanted to fold it up to put it in the car, this is how you would do it. So with the box you're going to press into these white rectangles on the side. And then same thing as when we did it before with the seat on, you'll put the handlebar in, lock the front wheel. and turn these white ones here and it folds like that. So that's what you're putting in the car. With the I2 you'll remove the carry top with these little sliders on the frame. Lift that one out. Actually you'd probably until you have a newborn baby. Okay. These are the adapters. You want to put the nice side facing out. Same thing, have the nice side facing out. They've made the adapters to fit the Maxi Cozy, so the top part will always look like this for any Maxi Cozy capsule, and then the bottom part, that'll look different depending on the stroller brand that you're using. Obviously, the I2 is a lot higher than the Fox, where the child is sitting closer to you. And you can also move that handle down as well if you want to see baby a little bit more. And to remove it from the capsule, I always recommend that you kind of pull on the handle and then just push these side bits one at a time. the baskets, the Bugaboo Fox has a bigger basket than the I2, but one thing to bear in mind is that the way that you fold it, the things might fall out of the basket when you fold it, the Fox, but when you fold the I2, the basket kind of stays in place. See what I mean? Okay, that's it. That's the Bugaboo Fox versus the Mutsi i2. Whichever brand you go for, it's going to depend kind of which one you like the look of, where you're going to be walking, whether you like the totally customizable option or whether you like going for something that's a little bit more easy to choose. <laughs> now, if you want to see it in person, come and see us at Global Baby. We're at 161 Monaco Road in Epsom or check us out online.